Hey, Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and this is a video I've posted previously, you know, on how to return the names that occur the most. And recently I saw a video where this was done for just one name, and I had a different idea, and I was like, oh, you could solve it in this way. <laughs> I later realized that Bavia Gopta, you know, had posted, you know, the exact solution, uh, I think, to this video you know the previous video i had shared but that's the solution i want to you know share with you today so basically we have a list of names okay so let's you know just use a unique here on these names you know, so you see you know the unique list and we just do a count you know like a count is pretty much just to see how many times they occur in you know that list right okay so you can see some of them occur five times so basically yes far as bill alan and mike okay and those are the same names you see here i think this is the formula i used previously here yeah, just added the ability to sort it alphabetically okay so now that's really what we want to get this has been around for a bit i mean the method i want to show but of course as functions you know improve and new functions are brought in, you always have you know slightly different ways of solving the same problem what we can do here basically is just to use a match function right where the match function can tell us the first time that you know these names appear so if i use a match function faraz will show me one even the second instance of faraz will still show me one because it's still the same name i won't use match now i'm going to use x match okay so i use x match you know so i'm matching the names against themselves basically right control backspace brings you back now you can see that Faraz is one here because yes, that's the first name. The next instance of Faraz is still one. The next instance of Faraz is still one. So that way, with those numbers occurring multiple times, you can then use the mode, right, function. The mode will tell you the numbers that occur the most. Now, if you just put a mode around this, just say mode, sorry, tab to the early <laughs> mode, you know, around this. Okay, it gives you just one number, which is one, which just gives you four farads. But when you want to return for multiple people, it's simple. Instead of doing mode, then you just do what? Mode.mult, basically. So that's like, you know, multiple modes so that it can account for ties if you have them. Right? So now you see 1, 2, 7, 13. Those are the positions of the names that we are interested in. Faraz is 1, Bill is 2, and you can see that they appear here. So once you have that, you know, basically you could use, you know, same index old school function index and then you select all the names control backspace and then you feed it with you know the numbers you already have so basically you now have what you want next thing you can just do is what you just put what is sort around it and this is definitely you know more straight to the point than what i had shown earlier but this is how you solve it Okay, so it's better to use the mode.mult. In the instance where there are no ties, it gives you, you know, the name that will cost the most. In the instance where there are ties, it gives you all the names. So I'd rather use mode.mult than using, you know, the mode function because it can work for both instances. So that's what I thought to share in this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. You should also subscribe, you know, to the channel, Excel Moments. For now, I'm out.